Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's a snowy day here in my local area. Finally got a good decent snow going. It is nice to have the snow though, the snow, though I do enjoy a nice uh, quiet snow. Even though it's a little bit cold out here, my fingers are a little bit freezing. What I wanted to show you was the modification to this generator that I made. And it's gonna seem pretty simple, uh, but I think that it was absolutely worth it. I haul it out to my property uh, to do fencing. I've got a 10 acre property that I hope to someday turn into a hobby farm. And so I haul this thing out there all the time to take my little jackhammer that I've got right here out there with me to help dig the fence post holes because I have a soft sedimentary rock that's in layers that the jackhammer breaks apart pretty easily, but it would take I don't know, four or five times longer without the jackhammer to do it. So it helps out a whole lot. I did dig one hole without it and I have to have it. Anyway, getting to the generator, you might notice I've got two uh, rubber tires on here. They are pneumatic tires, so they're filled with air. And that's pretty different, especially for these predator generators. Now, I think a lot of these inexpensive, you know, if you get a Honda or something like that, it's probably going to be a little bit different story. But when it comes to these Chinese built like Champion, uh, Generac, you know, some of these low end little gas portable generators, they're all going to be really similar. And they're built out of these or built at least on these tubular frames. And then Harbor Freight specifically, they always want to charge you an extra 40 bucks for a little wheel kit, which gives you some cheap plastic wheels, a little rod to run through the frame, and then uh, some little stands, and then a handle out the front so you can grab the handle and pull it along. Well, what I originally did was, uh, well, I, I did put these on here, and then I put some little swivel wheels on the front. And I ended up changing that modification uh, because the little swivel wheels never work in the dirt or anything like that because they would just dive into the dirt and stay there. So what I ended up doing was taking uh, the wheels off. I built a little trailer for it. Well, I decided I didn't like the trailer. I did stick the, uh, actually it was on, which side was it on? Had it in this side. I stuck the uh, axle back through it, put the wheels on. I put some little clips in and put that side back on. And then on this side, I had to drill through the frame here a little bit and uh, I just put a 5 8 inch piece of round stock, drilled through the frame and then put these tires on. These tires, I think you used to be able to get them for like $2.50 at the Harbor Freight, uh, but these days they're probably a little bit more than that. Everything's more expensive these days. They might be five, six, seven, eight dollars uh, So it's still going to be cheaper than the wheel kit. All you have to do is get a couple pieces of 5 8 inch rod that'll run through the bearings on these wheels and run them through the frame of the generator. That way you can roll it around nice and easy. It rolls over dirt. That's the big thing as I can move this thing as I'm moving. Uh, pull it in and out of the trailer. This thing, I don't know how heavy it is. I'd guess it's anywhere from like, I don't know, maybe 250 to 350 pounds. It's really heavy, hard to move on my own. It's back breaking pretty much every time I do it. And so I've, I wanted to be able to move it much easier and putting these wheels on has been a huge uh, benefit to me in that way. It's way easier to move this thing around and it is a much more portable generator. And I'm pretty sure it still costs me less than the cheap plastic wheel kit. But anyway, I'll demonstrate it real quick, pulling it out of the truck so you can kind of see it's, it, I, I used to not be able to put this thing even in my utility trailer by myself. Now I can put it even in the back of my truck by myself. Makes it a lot easier. guys i couldn't imagine an easier way to move this around not even with that plastic wheel kit the harbor freight sells for a ridiculous price on top of these generators it works good super easy to move around uh you still may want to fabricate some kind of a handle for it maybe you just want to spend the 40 bucks on the on the wheel kit 
any other generator you have. This modification really could go easily for any other generator. And so it's a pretty simple little modification. I think it works pretty good. I, I couldn't see why there'd be an issue with any other generator, but uh, I don't know how the wheel kit situation goes with those other brands and if they include them or not. But if they don't, this is a good modification. Even if they do, it might be nice to replace them uh, to this kind of more beefy system, if you ask me. I'm happy with it. It is a good modification. I don't know that I'll ever change it, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, go down, click subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.